Professor Francois from the University of Leuven in Belgium. I've been working on my Braille project for quite a few years, trying to make information more accessible through Braille for the people who need it. What you've just seen is the output of the Interpoint 55 Braille printer. It makes about 1,000 sheets per hour, that is 2,000 reading pages per hour. We will now have a look at this, at this Braille printer and then look into some of the details. We'll start off with the paper supply. The paper is supplied to the machine from rolls. Rolls of plain paper without pin feet and without folds. These rolls are carried by a special cart that will take rolls as big as 100 centimeter diameter, 1 meter diameter. Such big rolls carry up to 50,000 pages of braille. These big rolls can be supported by the, these extendable supports. And this paper cart allows you to lift them with this simple pedal mechanism that I shall show you. This is the command panel of the machine. In the lower part, we have the mains supply and the mains switch. When we turn on the mains switch, the machine is in standby, waiting for a signal to come from the computer over this RS-232 cable. In the upper part of the command panel, there are only four switches. The lower switch, the red one, allows us to turn on the machine manually. The next switch is the online offline switch. Online the machine is listening to the computer. Offline it allows us to perform a few local commands such as move paper and cut paper and make a self-test. The stop alarm switch allows us to make out multiple copies of a text. If the computer sends multiple copies of a text, the machine will stop after each copy. We can then take it out of the bin, push the button and the next copy will come out. We will now have a look at the inside of the machine. It is very easy to open up the machine. We can just lift the cover and pull off the side panels without the use of any tools. At the entrance of the machine there is this paper traction mechanism that is very strong in order to pull the paper from these heavy rolls into the machine. Behind the paper traction mechanism there is the printing block that does the actual printing of the braille dots. This printing block is very heavily built. For instance, here is one of the main shafts. Massive steel and heavy roller bearings. The operator himself can adjust the depth of the relief, the height of the braille dots, using nothing but simple standard tools. And for purposes of maintenance, we can pull out the entire printing block from the machine using these rails. After the printing block, comes the cutter mechanism and the ejection mechanism. The cutter will cut the sheet of paper to the desired size after embossing. The ejection will throw the pages out of the machine. The electronics assembly sits underneath the printing block. 
Let us now have a look at the electronics. This panel takes off as easily as the others do. The electronics fits into a rack. The print can be taken out very easily. I can remove the connectors and pull out the printed circuit. Here it is, neatly made, with white stripes of copper and white insulation. If necessary, a print can be exchanged very easily, and one could even exchange the whole block of electronics in a matter of a few minutes. The software that comes with this machine has been written specifically for making braille. That means, for instance, it adds automatically capital signs, numerical signs, and very important, it allows the user himself to determine the correspondence between ASCII codes and braille dots. I want to mention a couple other features. One, the display of braille dots on the screen, the way they will be on the paper later. And two, the possibility to use the standard keyboard and determine on that a Perkins keyboard. We will now ask the computer to print the book, which we have seen in the beginning of the film, in the form of double sheet as one would obtain from a classical braille press with four pages to a sheet. Here is the book. The computer has asked the machine to make a pre-fold in the middle of the paper to make it easier to fold the book. This way it can be bound by stitching or by stapling on the edge. I have tried to show you a few features of the machine and in fact of the whole braille system that we have designed. I hope it may be useful for you. If you have any questions or like any more information, just write us a letter or call us.